we arrived in Abu Dhabi, we did not know what treasures were in store. Our first visit was to Adma Apko. The vice president gave us more insight into the nature of our trip. He said that educators are multipliers and entreated us to learn from the things that are working here, to give insights, and to be ambassadors to the rest of the world about what it is really like in the Arab Emirates. The prophets will be the teachers, he said, to earn the respect of the teachers and everyone. You have already created great generations, and other great generations will come, inshallah. The Minister of Education spoke with great pride about his country's advances. He said, we believe this country has grown to what you see right now because of education. When you start building a country, your priority number one should be education. Next stop was the Actvet Girls Campus. We were given fantastic tours and were impressed by the high level of technology available to the students and real life simulations for doctor training as well as capstone senior projects for students to show real life applications. The arts were valued there and integrated into the curriculum as with an animation course here. We realized how students are the same everywhere you go and issues such as computer usage and addiction are rampant all over the world. Our last visit before the weekend was at ExxonMobil. We learned about advances in science and island building, as well as cultural changes and their effect on the Emirates. We rang in our weekend in the Gulf with a special dinner, traditional style, on the floor. We were so grateful for one another's company, such interesting colleagues from all over the United States. A visit to the Emirates Heritage Club gave us more insight into the, how the old world became the new world and how tradition and modernity mix. We also grew greater understanding about the role of shipping and location in the Emirates culture. Some of the braver fellows took a trip to the desert. They got to ride camels. And they had a few adventures in the sand. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque was certainly grand. Some of us needed to rearrange our wardrobe before going in to be polite, but we all were able to enjoy the amazing architecture and beauty and spirituality of the setting. We even got to see a sunset there. On our drive to Dubai the next day, we hit a rest stop where we got our first encounters with camel milk. Camel milk just hits the spot. Um. Our tour guide answered many of our questions and took us on a quick tour of the souks. I had some of the best juice in my life and some of my colleagues enjoyed experimenting with different spices. From a quick boat trip to cultural icons, we had a jam-packed day and of many memories to keep of the experience and our time together. We became very connected to our friends at the International Community School. High school prefects gave us tours of the very complex building. It even has a soccer field on the roof. We got to meet with the Eco Club and the Student Council, and we got to speak with colleagues in similar fields about differentiation. It was exciting to see how culture is taught at a young age, and how even though it's a young country, children learn about the history of their nation and how they fit into it. On Monday, the International Community School hosted an education conference. Their teachers spoke, and some of us spoke as well. We were very impressed with the students' poise in speaking about their environmental and student leadership initiatives. 
it was great to be able to speak with colleagues from other schools and to make connections as well. Then we had a meeting with the Abu Dhabi Education Council to round out our educational visit. On the last night, we went on a Dow cruise with our friends from the International Community School. We dreamed up ways we would stay in touch in the future and celebrated the time we had left together. A message to all the students all over the world. Um, as we always say, we're the present, you're the future. Love each other. Love is very contagious. Love yourself, love everyone, and change the reality we're living now. Accept everyone, love everyone. Be optimistic, be happy, and enjoy life. Emirati camel mold just hits the spot. Um, better than well, take a picture Northern of Africa. Oh, yeah. In Arabic. Better than American camel mold. It's smooth. It's cool. Thirst quenching.